All right, so let's get some practice with some examples. So let's look at this one. Let's express the force as a Cartesian vector, meaning, hey, just break that one into its components. And, and I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm maybe not looking to the final product. Uh, why might we want to break them in as a Cartesian vector into components? Because maybe we're going to add them together later on. And so if I, first step is breaking up into x, y, and z. So let's um, write this as a Cartesian vector. All right, so first step, do I notice that it is coordinate direction angles? I have three, it could be spherical, which we'll talk about later, it could be uh, dimensions, which we'll talk about later, but I notice that, hey, that alpha is straight the force to the vector, force to the, I mean, the vector to the coordinate axes. So yes, these are coordinate direction angles. So I'm gonna think F equals F U, uh, and I know the magnitude is 200. Uh, do I know cosine alpha i, cosine beta j, cosine gamma k? Well, 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 I do know alpha is 45. I know beta is 60. I don't know alpha, but remember that I can give you two of them, and you can find the third by the cosines squared plus cosine 60 squared plus cosine 45 squared adds up to one. So cosine alpha, let, let's, let's get, do this slowly and make sure I don't make a mistake. Cosine alpha squared is 0.25. So take the square root, cosine alpha, the square root of 0.25, be careful, plus or minus 0.5. Plus or minus 0.5. So, so yes, it might be uh, 0.5, so that would give me 60 degrees. But it also might be uh, negative 0.5. Uh, it might be 120 degrees. So another time where it might be the supplementary angle. I'm going to come and look at the figure to see which one it is. Now, that angle looks kind of pretty big. Is it 120 degrees? Well, let's look at this in 3D. These lines right here are meant to help you visualize and show you do you see that this is kind of coming towards us? This is coming towards us. Now, alpha looks big, but if this angle was on this wall, the, the YZ plane, it would be a 90 degree angle. And this one is in front, right? This comes in front of the wall. So this is actually less than 90 degrees, less than 90 degrees. So this is 60. Now, if, if it had been gone back here and it came, it, it fell back in that quadrant back there behind, or let me draw this a little bit better. If, it, if these lines showed that it, that it fell, you know, down here behind the YZ plane, then this would be an obtuse angle, so it would be 120. So, all right, anyway, it is 60 degrees. All right, so, so now I know all that. All right, so how do I organize my problems? F equals Fu, where U is cosine alpha I plus cosine beta J plus cosine gamma K. So F, which I'm looking for, equals 200 newtons times cosine, what is alpha? 60 plus cosine, what is beta? 60 from the figure. Uh, plus cosine, what is gamma? 45 in the K. So I just multiply that through, distribute that through. My force would be 100 in the I, 100 in the J, 141.4 in the K. Units, I need units somewhere. Some books and, and professors would have you do something different. I just like to put your units way out, or not way out, but put them in parentheses out to the side of your answer. Anyway, that is my answer right there. That is my answer right there. All right. So I noticed it was quarter direction angles. So I thought F equals F U. Uh, I thought I had U, but I didn't quite because I didn't have this third angle. Found the third angle. Then I had it and I could multiply that through and write this force as a Cartesian vector.